I, I followed this road when I was like coming and I noticed that Halloween has started and I've seen a lot of all this scary stuff <laughs> so I'm doing this in the morning it's even better I'm doing it in the morning because I can't put it at night so you see some some crazy things Let's dance somewhere that is comfortable so we can rise and study and do the same thing. Yeah, we can eat here now. Or should we just try our luck there? Yeah. I'm on order. I swear. Let's just go. Yeah. She's not comfortable with you. I know, right? Uh, I swear. So, this is Wache. Mm -hmm. Two eggs. Shito. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this one? This one is Gary. This is Gary. Wache. Wache. Stew. Stew. Then Wache stew. This is Shito. Proper, proper, to make salad. proper Ghanaian food yeah. from my Ghanaian chef, as in the best in Ghana, the <laughs> best, the best chef, the best event planner. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for our exam. Hey, exam, hello. It's like all those kids that he used to use for people. So there are nothing you can even bring up from this place. Right? That is my point. But there are no answers to it. You see the point. So you would still so have to them. just use the. You know. So like they thought they owe them a duty of care. Mm -hmm. You see, which was just yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But that is the occupier's livelihood. <laughs> you stay there. You have plants in the classroom. Has it so pretty? Yes. Okay. Nice. Plant mom. Plant mom. I said. Plant auntie. Plant auntie. It's closed, right? If it doesn't serve as a project finance, why? Still regarded as one of the most trustworthy men. No, sir. Who can come up with the answer against Timmy's coffee or tea? No, sir. 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 I don't like the time they kept this class. It's a very wrong time. Very wrong time. Because How can I be going home at night? Every time, every time I'm in this class, it's as if we're always chasing the one out of the class. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, just, just message me. <laughs>
Mare. Mare. Agidi Agidi No, no. That's not how you That's be like this. Like this. Guys, I'm not a plant mom. Plant auntie. <laughs> I had exams today, no exams. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Chukwu does also the plant auntie. She's looking at me and the plants now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I had banku. I had banku. Ah. Yeah. See. Am I there? Yeah. Yes, fine girl with a puff puff hair. <laughs> Who knows that's to make puff puff here? I mean puff puff, real one. So you, you don't have to make puff puff. Don't you used to do small chops? Small what? I don't you used to do event planning in Ghana. Yes, but the small chops are always there. Uh, I don't know how you would. Chop more. Is it not normal? Is it not normal? This boy does not want to stay, stop safe. But which nobody is there. If you can see us coming, mm -hmm. can't you see us coming? You would have waited. No, no. If there's somebody at the back stop, they will not. They don't wait. Feeling cold. <laughs> eh, eh, feeling cold. <laughs> eh, eh, feeling cold. <laughs> oh, feeling cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I don't trust her for that plan. I said it to go I think I knew. She just took it for taking sake. She just took it for I don't have plans to die in two days. No, you don't have to do anything. No, you have to water it. Really? To give it time. No. It's Christmas. Shiver, this is my uh, head group. Head group? Head of, no, assistant head group, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> you present our 99 ideas. Oh, yes, I'm happy. So, you're happy to shine. It's, it's freaking cold. <laughs> Dripping, drip on drip. Drip, drip on drip. Drip on cold. <laughs> <laughs> I always wave in the Yes, everybody knows you can pop up here already. But I'm waving. I'm always waving. like 8 a.m here and um it's the weekend already it's friday and yesterday i had an exam i have more exams coming next week yeah and um it's been okay it's been good thank god for everything and currently now i'm dressed to go out i have a job interview when I say a job interview or more like a side job interview, yeah, I have um, an appointment tomorrow, business appointment, thank God for that. I also have um, a couple of few other errands I need to run today, yeah, so I know it's been very cold lately, so that's why you see I'm all like... <laughs> wearing this big jacket and all like it's been crazy and i really need to start covering myself well because lately i've just been dressing like very light and the cold is becoming something serious it's now like six degrees and all you can imagine how really cold it is and this is just october or, hmm, not even december so you can imagine when we now enter december what's going to happen 
yeah so guys i quickly want to talk about something yeah if you are an international student or you are coming in as an international student and um let's say you are trying to get your food in and all first things first you need to get your accommodation sorted out because that is the most important thing you understand and there are different places you can get your accommodation from you can get your accommodation from kgg facebook marketplace facebook groups all those international international student groups just join it you understand and um you don't need to even rent a full apartment you can share you can share a room or you can share like an apartment in which you can have like two bedroom or three bedroom then you take one you understand so just to cut down the cost because you don't want to be spending so much on bills you get like too much on bills payments of rent and all especially when you haven't gotten a job and if you haven't gotten a job yet on time my best advice is that you need to start humble like you need to be humble you might not really get what you want as you are coming in from when you were coming from your country you just have to be humble you have to climb the ladder you get um another thing is that try to save up before you come here don't expect that you're going to make the money sharp 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 as you're entering because you don't want a situation whereby you'll be stranded if you have a business back in nigeria I would say don't shut it down completely. Do the one that won't stress you out. You understand? Like for me, I had to like let go of some services. Then I had to focus on some other aspects in which see brings them money. You get. But the the challenge is that when you're converting that naira to dollar, it's not smiling. It's barely like nothing, and it can't really do anything. You get. But it can still help to like let's say buy groceries and stuff so don't shut down completely try to look for second a second or even a third stream of income which is very very important second stream of income third stream of income you cannot depend solely on one job here you understand except you are working full time which would be for PR or maybe during your holiday. But if you're an international student, it's quite difficult for you to work full time because it might affect your grades and all. You understand? And um, there are places you can get jobs from. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've tried indeed, but it's crazy out there. The competition is too much. But um, just try to connect and link up with people try to build your community you saw the other day i went to church i went to church because i not only go to church to praise god though i went to pray god though but at the same time i went to like connect build family you understand expand you understand my connection be friends with people because in this life eh, god will not come down and help you let me just stay in now god is going to use people to help you so you have to find every way to like connect with people do you understand so that you don't know who is going to help you that person that you are talking to might have somebody that is looking for somebody that um wants to give somebody a job you understand so something like that or even to expand your business clientele and all you understand because even when you're running the business here you need to be patient it's not today today that the money will fall down because they are still studying you they're still trying to see okay if your work is good or if your product is good so you need to be patient for that business aspect and i would say don't only depend on business too because business today might see clients especially if they are coming in like you're coming in maybe at the first time you understand but along the line when you beat your client or you cannot solely depend on business but if you're just coming in just find something else that you'll be doing alongside just to make ends meet you understand but generally overall don't give up you understand it's a journey it's a journey that you understand you're going to tell so many stories so you have to be prepared don't give up don't lose hope you understand um definitely everybody that started that came into the country they all started from like somewhere low you understand and now they are making the real money you understand so just be patient you get then guys if there's any other thing you would like me to talk about um i don't i'm not really a big fan of sit down and talk videos but that's why i try not responsible to video and talk alongside but if there's anything you want me to talk about you can just um 
put it down in the comment section it's better that way you understand so that everybody will learn or if you have any questions yeah i'll also answer from there do you get so guys um i think i'm going to be heading now out to hustle <laughs> um for my interview and um i don't want to be late i just want to be early so yeah guys um i'll come back and i'll tell you how it went yeah take care bye <laughs>